Hello, folks. Welcome back. Well, look what we have here. Uh, Grim Soul has been updated to 1.8.0 Forsaken Dungeon Boss. Um, look at the size of him on that picture. That's ridiculous. That big old axe. Dang. All right. So eight hours ago, update 1.8.0 is even bigger than it might seem. In addition to our new character customization and a new dangerous boss, we've also done a great deal of technical work to prepare the game for future updates. We'll discuss that later. But to learn more about the visible updates to gameplay, read our grimoires. So the boss, Gerhard Eisenhorn, is seriously interested in meeting whoever is causing all the clamor upstairs. Level 2 and level 1 of the dungeon. Uh, the entrance to level 3 is now clear, and that means it's time to introduce players to the Master of the Forsaken Order, who swore fealty, felty? fealty to the Plague God. You can read all about it in the Master's Diary, but let's first discover or cover what players will need before facing this boss. Get your sturdiest armor. Nope, don't want to do that. Get your sturdiest armor and sharpest weapons. Master Eisenhorn hits hard and far. Try and stay out of the way of his attacks. This boss is slow, but has superhuman strength and cunning. The Master of the Order is an important person, so anyone looking to take him on should keep in mind that he'll have guards protecting him. Oh, okay. <laughs> So it's not enough that we got a new master boss, but he's got some minions to do his work for. Most of the special effects and skills don't work on this boss. Ay ay ay. And one more hint, if you see Eisenhorn rain his pole axe, raise his pole axe over his head, it might be a good idea to run as far as he can. After defeating this boss, you can attain his key to a treasure chest and even his head as a trophy. Players might notice a new object recipe, the trophy spear, and the dead master's head will look quite spectacular on it. The spear adds 100 castle points, and the trophy head will be a pleasant reminder of the difficult victory. What's in the secret chest of the Forsaken? You are guaranteed to attain a unique weapon at maximum durability, Exiles might also come across some notable beneficial objects, including a new active skill, Petrification. Players turn themselves into a statue that cannot attack, move, or be injured. While petrified, players heal at a rate of 5 health per second. The higher the skill level, the longer players remain a statue. Usually, enemies quickly lose interest in petrified exiles and go about their business as usual. But not all enemies are so easily fooled. A new passive skill, Unstoppable. This, de this decreases the amount of time that players suffer from shocking and freezing effects. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. I know we had the Santa Claus bad santa that froze us do we have other maybe up north obviously i haven't been up there so i really don't know um a recipe for weapons rack this is a special type of storage for showing off the best pieces of your arsenal any weapon you equip to it uh, to one of its 10 slots will appear on the rack adds 200 castle points recipe for new powder bomb that is powerful enough to knock down stone walls. Time to learn what treasures your neighbors are hiding. I think that means that raiding is coming soon. Hmm, I wonder if they're gonna change the recipes for that. Because raiding, um, or sorry, making bombs, quite expensive. Ice Sword. This miraculous weapon can now be obtained from Master Eisenhorn. 
Buckler. This special shield blocks all attacks for a short period of time. Oh, that would be nice. That would be nice. Exiles. Good luck in this difficult fight ahead. Character customizations. The original appearance of our exile has already become a calling card for our game, and it's difficult to imagine changing that character for someone else. It was difficult, but now the game includes a customization menu where each player can change their exile's appearance as they see fit. You can access the menu by tapping the new special icon right next to the settings at your home location. In addition to the face and sex, you can also change your exile's skin color, hair color, haircut, and add extra definition to the face. The first customization for each exile is free. Additional customizations after the first will require a symbolic soul shard. Other changes. Dinner tables now add more than just a large amount of castle points. Each placed table increases food and drink stats of all provisions by 10%, which allows players to be more effectively satiate to more effectively satiate their hunger and thirst. Ooh, so we can put up to five tables based on this little uh, diagram, giving us 50% bonus on top of any of the skills that we have. Mm, that's, that's going to be interesting because that's going to make it so, um, excuse me, I got the runny nose. Um, that our food is more effective, I think we're gonna have to craft a couple of tables and get those up there. Uh, the in-game store now has a new offer, chests with sharpened weapons. It includes the sharpest blades made by the finest masters. If you're in need of a practical weapon with a heavy attack, don't even worry, it's your choice. Do you sharpen your weapons? So, Mm -hmm. And it's on sale by the looks of this. Pay attention to the special offer of the store. 78% 78, 78 discount on the Squire's Nightmare. This set includes a solid range of weapons for different occasions as well as 50 coins for nuts. <laughs> okay. The offer is limited. And of course, there are new soul marks, scrolls, and hints. What would the game be without them? And that's where we leave you, dear exiles. A great deal of work is behind us, and the most difficult challenge in Grim Soul is before you. Share your character's new appearance and successful tactics for fighting our new boss, and we'll happily get to work on the next update. Thank you for your attention, and good hunting. And then obviously, it's available for Android right now, iOS in a few days. So let me know, folks, what you think of this. We're going to head into the game. Give me a second, and we'll get to that. Now, so this is all the same stuff we went over, and we'll go through that. Uh, they haven't changed the screen, uh, the screenshot yet, but that's okay kind of known for that for now um, before going in tables can we actually craft those or do we have to buy them oh it's looking like we have to buy them hmm <laughs> cheeky cheeky oh there's the weapons rack oh it's a design that we have to get there's the powder bomb another one design that we have to get oh boy and the leather pannier, that's the same. The trophy spear. So that's what it takes to craft the trophy spear. So if you get uh, Master Eisenhorn's head, uh, you can place it on that. Kind of like the witch's head in Last Down Earth. Um, the blind one head in Last Down Earth, you can hang him on the wall. But uh, this is uh, something that he'll be kind of, kind of gruesome <laughs> to have a dead man's head in your base. But hey, anyway, so where I guess it would be under castle. Ah, there's the, di the dining tables. So that's $2.49 Canadian. I 
don't know what that would be in US or other currencies. You'll have to click on your menu to find out yourselves. Now, they said that we have to click on a special button. No, when we're in our, oh, maybe when we're in our base to be able to take a look at the new custom uh, character customization. So we see a little uh, greenish yellow buddy. Click on him and we can actually change out the face styles are pretty darn similar looking aren't they well a little bit of change I will right, we'll go with this guy what's the female put a little spray tan on them hair color nah no dark brown or brown yeah that looks good long hair no nope nope hmm female not, not much e, that's not good uh, let's go back to our male kind of like the scruff look there um, this looks like some cartoon character this is the, not on the actual dude but the the little icon Ooh, mohawk do mohawk we got a long beard or yeah 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 all right that's my dude that's my dude going forward so those are the updates oh you can actually see it on screen excuse me so that's the update information um, we'll look at maybe adding a table I didn't think it had to be a purchased item but as we can tell by this we do so mm, we'll consider it at some point maybe um, that being said uh, third level of the dungeon we can barely do the second one right now uh, that's just I gotta grind grind hard and go from there um, but as soon as I can show that off I will I can imagine that it's going to be super duper hard it's going to take a lot a lot of stuff but uh, one day we'll get there as for the rest um, character customizations ooh, new skills so there's petrification uh, we can't tell what's in there just yet, but we already read what the description was. And I thought there was one new passive skill. Oh, immunity. Is that new? And unstoppable. I don't remember immunity. It might have been there before, but unstoppable is down in the specials. So we'll work at uh, getting some of these and hopefully get those pretty quickly so that we can show them off. And before we leave for today, excuse me, we will actually add, I think this is it, retribution to our, and I have a double here. <laughs> uh, the double actually goes, we'll use this one. We've added retribution. So the enemies receive 14% of damage dealt for three seconds. That sounds like if they do damage to us, they take damage. We'll have to check that out in the next video. We'll try it out. We'll switch between Heavy Strike, which I like a lot, uh, to be honest with you. And we'll give uh, Retribution a try. Anyways, folks, that is the update news um, for update 1.8.0. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this new update. On that note, folks, I want to wish you all a great rest of the day, morning or evening, wherever you are. Take care.